What's up everybody? Another UI UX workshop today and yeah, guess what? I got a new pet. My kids talked me into a bearded dragon, um, so I don't know, hopefully that works out well. Today, our focus for the UI UX workshop is going to be just mobile designs. I never really exclusively tried to tackle three different mobile designs and let's check out what they look like, for the before at least. First up, we have this, these are all user submitted by the way. Uh, this is basically some sort of food app, as I suppose, a little bit pixelated, but we're gonna go ahead and try to make this better. Um, next up, I don't have the user's names who submitted these, but they were Discord submissions. This is a personal portfolio for a software engineer. We're gonna see what we can do to fix that one. And then finally, we have another sort of personal mobile-based portfolio. All right, so as always, I'm gonna to try to focus on UI and slash and or UX on uh, making these just basically look and function better. And it's just, just my opinion, you know, I don't have, I'm not always right, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now, as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. This first entry is for a food app, and outside of it just being badly pixelated, there's some other issues with borders in white space. Now, this is going to be mainly a UI revamp, not UX, because I just don't have enough info about what this app is about outside of it being related to food. So, colors and overall layout, that's all going to remain the same, but I'm going to improve key areas mainly in relation to the cards and other finer details. Now, the one thing that really kills this UI are the thick colorful borders that wrap around the card elements. All of those differently colored thick lines add a lot of unnecessary clutter and it adds to inconsistency to the design. I do keep a very light border around the top three cards, but it's very subtle and hardly noticeable, which is what I recommend when it comes to these types of borders. Also, the original layout lacked a lot of white space within the cards, mainly in relation to the labels under the best for breakfast section, so I'm adding more white space in that area. Now outside of that, for the most part, everything remains the same, and you can see that ultimately, there will be a significant boost in the quality of the UI just by changing those few things. This here is a personal portfolio for a software engineer. I think we could definitely improve the layout as it pertains to the character, the call to action buttons, and the about section. So first off, I think there's too much text designated for the headline. And there's really three parts of that headline. Hey there, I'm Callum, and then the rest of it. So I'm removing hey there because that's insinuated by the character waving and making I'm Callum a sub headline in a smaller font. Now next, the position of the illustrator character seems too displaced and may get cut off on smaller smartphones. So I think if we repositioned it to the right side of the screen in its own column, and this headline to text to the left, it might be a better fit. Now, next, I always advise to have a single primary call to action. If you have two calls to action, one needs to be styled differently. There should be a primary, and if need be, a secondary call to action. Now, the secondary call to action in this case is CV, so it should be de-emphasized because it's less important. Now, I also felt his about section was a bit weak in terms of type alignment. 
and a great way to modernize this type of section is to use watermarks. For the final entry, we have another portfolio and I feel that the illustration just seems way too cheesy and the three similar styled call to actions are just too confusing and lacks visual hierarchy. So the first problem I saw with this design was the two bits of type that are styled exactly the same. You really don't want to do this when it comes to headlines and subheadlines as it throws off visual hierarchy and the user just isn't exactly sure where they should look and read first. Secondly, the illustration seemed way too weak and generic. Ideally, you would have a professional illustrator create a custom illustration for you, but if you can't do that, then you can use some of the many great resources for pre-made illustrations, which I'm doing here. Now, overlapping the headline on top of the illustration works in this context because the background of the illustration is like a watermark, which allows the type to shine on its own, but it also allows it to feel just and look more modern. Now, the three similar styled buttons are a big no, because there isn't a single button that really stands out as being the primary one that you want the user to click. So I'm fixing that by des designating just one of the three as being primary and de-emphasizing the other one as just being a text-based link. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I make uh, good improvements? Did I screw up in some way? Let me know what you think. I'll go ahead and read them and then probably just block you from the channel if you contradict me. No, I'm just kidding. Anyhow, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.